And it's amazing how many businesses, entrepreneurs, people with startups, or even businesses that have been going for 30 years and they're thinking about the future, they don't have a plan. They're just bowling on, hoping that the, they'll do as well as they did last year and they can you know, go, to, go to a meeting and win some more business. You need to have a plan. And the point about having a plan is this, is you are A, you need a B. Now, B can be very specific or it can be a bit more woolly. We need to have a direction. And if you've got a direction and a point B, a destination, a goal, an objective, you can write a, a route map to get there. And that's your business plan. And once you've got a route map, your team, your suppliers, even your customers, they, your employees, whoever it might be, your investors, your lenders, your equity investors, they can understand what you're trying to do and how you're going to get there. And you see a lot on the internet now, stuff about, you know, straight line growth. There's no such thing as straight line growth. It's a myth. So have a plan, share it, take everyone you possibly can with you and make sure that every so often you go back and look at that plan and iterate it, things change, perhaps every quarter. Now, what do you write a plan about? So there's four or five ways in which you can grow your company. Some are obvious, some might not be. The first one is doing more of what you already do. You don't have That's to good. grow sale by sale, product by product. The opportunity is to buy and acquire or merge with other businesses. And it doesn't mean it has to be a huge, complicated deal. It can mean that sometimes putting together two plus two can equal five. Now, it can be difficult in terms of who runs the business, um, who the shareholders are. That's com complexity, but you can work around that. So there's mergers and acquisitions. I used to do that. The point of M&A is, if you buy a business, don't do your homework, don't know what you're doing, that can kill your current business. So you need to make sure you've got the right professional advisors, the right people around you to help you grow in that way. So a lot of businesses, they, they try and grow, and the front end, like a pantomime horse, the front end, the sales and marketing, does swimmingly well, but the back end, you don't invest in, you don't watch it, doesn't catch up. So systems, processes, regulate, regulation, compliance, policies, you don't put them in place so that the, basically you get a disconnect and the wheels fall off. Now, a lot of you, I'm sure, in terms of what you do, you have a lot of regulation and compliance. Uh, one of the key things now, especially in terms of data and customers and the delegates and attendees, is customer data. I'm sure you were bored of GDPR already and things like that. But the point is this, I've known people that have been in business and they are entrusted with customer data or <clears throat> whatever it might be, they've gone to bed, and I've, been, I've invested in one of these companies, they've gone to bed and woken up, had a data breach, and they've not had a business. 